these high school students are part of a unique learning experience that combines online lessons with face-to-face -face interaction with NASA engineers and scientists at the Johnson Space Center. The program is called High School Aerospace Scholars, Haas. For years, it has encouraged and enlightened Texas students, all while building a new workforce of scientists and engineers ready to serve our nation's future explorations. They come from all over the Lone Star State, from small towns and large cities. They are high school juniors, interested in working with NASA, and interested in science, technology, engineering, and math, the STEM subjects. Through Haas, they discover they are not alone in those interests, as they meet other like-minded Texas students with different backgrounds, different experiences, and fresh ideas. The Haas experience of seeing NASA up close and meeting the people who make space missions a reality reveals new paths for the high school students to explore at a critical time in their lives. Students are definitely making decisions about their future in this point, about where they want to go to school, what they want to do in college, and, and what kind of career that might lead to. And for a lot of students, they don't really know what a career in engineering is like without getting some kind of experience like this. The High School Aerospace Scholar Program has proven to have lasting effects on the participants as they go on to pursue their education and careers. Meet some Haas alumni. My interest in math and science has always, it's been, it started way back when I was a kid, so <laughs> it's just working with numbers, it's just like a second language. My name is Antia Chambers. I work at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, and I'm the Precipitation Prevention Project Manager. I'm also the hardware manager of the compatible water containers uh, that are used currently on the International Space Station. I would go to Mars in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm Allie Rutledge, and I'm a PhD candidate in Geological Sciences at Arizona State University. I study planetary geology, especially the geologic evolution of the surface of Mars. Uh, my name is Cody Kelly and I'm a, a crew survival engineer here at the NASA Johnson Space Center. So what our branch, what my group does is we're basically designing the technologies that we'll need to extend human presence for spacewalking outside of low Earth orbit. And there are countless other Haas alumni, many working at NASA, others in STEM careers, but all inspired by the program. The journey of a high school aerospace scholar begins when they decide to sign up they must seek a nomination from their state representative to become a part of the program. Then it's time to study. The students will work online with a specially constructed curriculum designed to prepare them for a specific task, planning a mission to Mars. So I was having to you know, learn all this stuff in addition to my normal educational curriculum. And that was a huge part of it is I got to learn stuff that I wasn't learning in the traditional classroom. And it had so, so much real world application to what NASA was doing at the time. The Haas journey continues with a week-long experience at the NASA Johnson Space Center. It introduces the students to new fields they did not know existed. So I think High School Aerospace Scholars allows kids from across the state of Texas to come see what does that really mean. What, is it, what does it mean to, you learn math in the classroom, but what does that mean in the real world? You learn about science, but what does that do? What does engineers really do with those concepts? I especially remember a tour of a biology lab where we got to see plants and how they were grown aboard the International Space Station and how they could be grown for an eventual mission to Mars. That blew me away. I think the first time I saw the MBL was just an incredible experience. When you when you come up and you see the pool um, and you see just how big it is, and just to know that that's how they train for spacewalk. Other than seeing STEM in action at NASA, the students also have an important assignment to finish. Using their knowledge obtained from the online curriculum, they create a simulated mission to Mars. Working in teams with assigned roles as real engineers do, the students must analyze the challenges before them, problem solve, and utilize critical thinking skills. Speaking as an educator, uh, it's hands-on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's real world. This is you know, they're in meetings, they're in deadlines, they have pressure, they have to work as a team. Along the way, Haas students are mentored by NASA engineers and scientists. Having the students meet 
the scientists and engineers is probably one of the key elements of this program because it gives them the first hand interaction face to face wow, this is a real NASA scientist. For so many years, you, you hear about the NASA rocket scientist and you're kind of like, wow, yeah, but he's a scientist. But yeah, we're, we're regular people and, and those kids get a feel for that. And then they also get a feel for that, I can do this too. Everybody was just really open to talk. Like you kind of are, you know, thinking, oh, I'm just kind of a high school student and this is a big scientist or engineer or astronaut or, or any kind of profession. And you kind of feel a little timid to, to ask them questions. But um, what I found is we love talking about our jobs. So like, ask all the questions that you want. The students wrap up their Haas experience by presenting their Mars mission project to a team of actual NASA technical experts who will grade the assignment. This work, along with what they learned online, the STEM careers and NASA hardware they saw, and the people they met, provides a new sense of direction and purpose. I think what the experience at NASA taught me and the um, people that I met at NASA taught me was uh, it allowed me to focus uh, my interest a little bit more. They grow up when they can look at everything and they know without a shadow of a doubt, this is what I want to do. Do we know we can go home with a success story? So for a lot of our aerospace scholars, they do end up going to college and majoring in some kind of STEM field. And if we're lucky, we see them back here uh, maybe as college students, as interns, and then we've had the opportunity to hire them uh, several years later and come back. And many of our folks now who work here as employees who started as high school aerospace scholars have become mentors for, for a new group of aerospace scholars. So for us, it's a really great cycle. I'm living my dream every day. I work with some of the greatest people here at NASA. A lot of them are actually high school aerospace scholar alumni. So again, it's kind of that, that club and that culture that is built up by this program. It's amazing that, you know, I grew up in a, a small town, was given these opportunities, and I'm able to, to live out my dream every single day. International Space Station, the Expedition 40 crew would like to congratulate the Aerospace Scholars Program. Your diligent work is opening the world of STEM education to students and building the workforce of tomorrow. As Aerospace Scholars become part of the NASA family, we know that the future of our space program is in amazing hands.